Order, honorable members, I'm sorry, Minister of uh, Small Business, you had your hand up. Yes, honorable um, chairperson, I beg your indulgence. I rise under rule number two, number 92, points of order, and I'd like to refer you to rule number 84, unparliamentary or unacceptable language or gestures. I beg your indulgence, Chairperson, because I unfortunately have to leave. Yesterday, there was an incident that I stood up for, and the speaker said she will go to Hansard and listen to it and come back with a ruling. I don't want to jump the gun because probably the speaker is still going to come back. But the issue here is that we are, this is the last day of our sitting. For now, we're going to close and we'll go. And I've had incidences in my space where I've been promised that uh, they will come back and make a ruling, and that hasn't happened. So I do want respectfully, Chairperson, to say when we come back, there must be a ruling on that incident of uh, Honorable Stan Hazen who insulted me yesterday. The chairperson says, the speaker said, Chairperson, she will, order, honorable member. Chairperson. The speaker said, allow her to finish and then I'll take it. Yes. The chairperson, the, the speaker said, she will come back with a ruling. So all I'm doing is to say, let that not disappear like others. I will await that ruling. Thank you very much, honorable member. Indeed, the speaker is also in the house. She has heard. She will come back as she has promised indeed. Honourable House Chairperson, I'm very glad that the Honourable Minister has raised that because at my last count we're waiting for 22 rulings from presiding officers during this sitting. I hope that before that one's ruled on we're going to get the outstanding ones from the presiding officer. Order. Honourable Members, I thought the rem order, the reminder by the Minister of Small Business Though she was specific to hers, she also made it general that others have not been dealt with, which covers your point, Honorable Stainazen. The presiding officers, indeed, we order Honorable Waters. Honorable Waters, what is the tissue now? No. Order, no. Point of order, Chair. We will order. No. We will come back to the House with all the rulings that as presiding officers we have indicated we will deal with. Honorable Minister. Honorable Chair. Yes. You see, that, you see, I don't know if uh, those members across there, they actually realize what they are doing. Those members are showing a tissue are showing me sniffing or something of that sort. Honorable Chair, the one thing that has to be understood is that when we are shouting at each other, we obey the rules. We do so by the rules. But, but, but for members... Order. Yes, yes. Order. But for members... Order, honorable members, can you allow her to finish and allow me to make a ruling? But for members to do what they are doing, not only do they do that, this side of the house, we try our best to be accommodative. We are insulted, Order. we are insulted, Honourable we are undermined, member. we are made to feel like buffoons in our own country. Honourable that member. kind of a behavior is completely and unacceptable. Honourable that Minister. I must say. Thank you. Can you take your seat? Order, Honourable Member. House Chairperson. I have noted you, Honourable Stenison. You can take your seat for now. You can take your seat. Honourable Members, can I please address you? Points of orders have been raised in the past. They've been raised even today. In instances where presiding officers have indicated that they will come back to the House and make a ruling, they will do so. We do apologize that indeed in some of them, 
It might have taken time. But I also want to make members appreciate that in terms of our rules, you have to have both members in the House, one who raised the point of order and the one who is alleged to have, you know, broken a rule. And where both members are not in the House, the presiding officers don't make a ruling. At times, the presiding officers will ask both members to come to the office and give the ruling as such, particularly to ensure that we minimize the delays. Again, I want to assure members that we will come back when the House next sit with the rulings. There may be 20 odd, as other members have indicated, but all of them would be made. I would appreciate that we please accept that commitment that has been made by the presiding officers in that regard. Honorable Stenazen. I'll ask chairperson completely abide by your ruling in this particular manner, but I really do think it's rich for probably the worst culprit of sledging. Even today, while the Honorable McPherson was spe speaking, she was shouting, you lying, you liar, to start uh, picking out, if you give out medicine, you must be prepared to take the medicine. Honorable Stenazen, thank you very much for your point. I've had all your points of orders, and can we please proceed to this next matter of the debate, having ruled that we'll come back to you. Filibustering, yes, must happen, but within the rules. Heckling must happen without drowning the speakers, so that we all have politicking is the order of the game, but all of it happen within the rules. Okay? Now we move to the next debate.